Oh boy, a shopping cart ride. I haven't ridden in a shopping cart in ages. This is so much fun, nothing could ruin this joyous day. Uh-oh. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to my shopping cart playthrough. The marketplace in Dion was having a sale on saws, drills, and blades, so I picked up some hardware to build a siege engine. I also picked up a starting block. They weren't on sale, but you can never have too many starting blocks, am I right? Anyway, on my way back from the Dion marketplace, I decided to try some zones with just the shopping cart full of loose hardware and post a video of the zones I managed to beat. Now on to my creative process. When I built this cart, I resisted the temptation to add hidden weapons, flying blocks, or other tools, and instead only included parts that contributed to an authentic shopping cart look. For example, I might have benefited from making the wheelbase longer or making the overall cart bigger, but I wanted the cart to contain five or six items and look full, so that dictated the size. The only things I did expressly for performance were turning up the wheel speed and mapping the controls so I could steer. I did find one incidental advantage to this design, though. The casters in the front are immune to the enemy's arrows and melee weapons, so as long as you keep the back wheels protected, the front can absorb a lot of attacks. The handling is smoother than that of the typical four-wheel drive design with skid steering, but the acceleration is less responsive because the casters seem to add a surprising amount of drag. The top-heavy design tends to tip over backwards when climbing, but by popping a wheelie and slamming it back down, you can break off the casters for easier climbing. As you'll see toward the end of this video, this is crucial to beating Zone 24. Something I've noticed during my first major use of wooden sticks is that the joints of the sticks aren't solid, so sometimes thin items can clip the joints and fall through. I plan to suggest in the besiege form that they give the wooden sticks longer hitboxes so they can form an enclosed basket. But in the meantime, we can just pretend that basket technology still had a ways to go in medieval times. On the thumbnail for this creation's download pages, I referred to it as Ye Old Shop Cart, but actually, Ye Old is not authentic medieval English. The phrase actually arose in the 1800s as a way to make a business sign seem old-timey and quaint while still being understandable to modern readers. Although the first letter looks like a Y, it's really a thorn, which is an old English letter that is pronounced like the modern TH diphthong. The original thorn looked like a lowercase b with the vertical line extended downward, and it gradually morphed over time to look like the letter Y, and eventually disappeared from the alphabet. There have been various spellings of old, since English spelling was not standardized during the Middle Ages. But according to an article I read, which I'll link in the description, O-L-D-E wasn't very common unless you were using it as a noun to refer to people who were old. I found that bit of history interesting when I first heard about it in a minute physics video, and I hope you did too. That's all I have to say for now, so enjoy the rest of the playthrough. Oh, and uh, one more thing. If you want to put a funny spin on this playthrough, pretend you're watching a medieval version of Jackass the movie. Why do I always get the cart with the broken wheel?
Not bad. I still have all my hardware and a few free bricks. Although perhaps I would have been better off taking the gold bars instead. Ah well. I guess I'll hang on to that for my rock collection.
Well, there you have it. I managed to put a shopping cart ding in 16 of the 25 current zones. Links to download this cart will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed my video and my machine. Bye for now.